everyone welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be going ahead and reviewing a site called dhgate and essentially what the goal is of this video is i'm going to tell you guys if it's safe if it's legit and what to watch out for all the pros and cons first of all the first start of the video i'm not even on the site itself i'm on the trust pilot page showing you the reviews now as you can see guys from the reviews it's not really rated that highly and the reason i'm showing you this is to prove to you that i'm not sponsored by them so i'm going to be honest and as you can see the reviews are pretty terrible and that's because guys people are buying off of scam listings okay so to sum up the first point i'm going to make i'm going to make three points in this video the first point i want to make so desperately is the site itself isn't a scam there's just scam sellers. That's the big thing you need to realize. Let's say you type up like Gucci hat as I did right here, right? You could buy a legit one that comes from the factory that's actually arrives to your house and you could use it and it's good quality. That happens, right? There's legit things on here. It's not like some sort of weird scam they're running. But the point is... There are also sellers that are scamming people. There's also sellers selling bad quality items. So now you're probably asking, well, how do I know the good quality items? And the second point is check the star reviews. Okay, so I got this painting I'm showing right here from this website and it did arrive because I did check the reviews. It had almost five stars. So I trusted it. You want to go ahead and check the reviews of each listing and the reviews are actually right next to it and also you want to go ahead and make sure there's a lot of reviews so if it says five star reviews but there's only one review i wouldn't count on it but if there's like 100 reviews and it's four stars that's way more credible than one review and five stars the reason is you want a broad scope of reviews you don't want just like one guy that left the review especially if it's an expensive item then they might be pulling a scam on you right and i'm not accusing them but they might be and the third thing to watch out for and by the way before i tell you guys this one if you guys are liking the content so far be sure to like and subscribe since i cover lots of websites and uh yeah i cover lots of websites and you know it's it's quite good content honestly so be sure to like and subscribe. But yeah, so overall, it's legit. It depends on the listing. You guys want to make sure you review the pictures. That's the third thing I was going to say to watch out for. Review the pictures. It's so important. I see a lot of people, they don't review every detail of it. There's a zoom feature for a reason. There's a zoom feature for a reason, okay? And read about what you're buying as well. Like... Uh, make sure you read like because they tell you is it coming out the factory can it come out like a weird color like they tell you everything you need to know they don't just say oh here's the item they're actually like yeah like listen if you buy this product you know the color might come out differently they'll tell you all of that before you even buy it so the point is you want to make sure you're reading into what you're buying don't just buy because you know, you think it looks cool, just make sure you read what they're telling you themselves. And also, as well, on top of all of this, make sure, and I know this is going to come across as weird, but you also want to go ahead and be very skeptical when you're getting into it. So if someone's, for example, saying, um, you know, if it looks sketchy, if their listing looks sketchy, then it's probably sketchy. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, that's the other thing as well. Like, you want to make sure that it's not something that looks sketchy, okay? Because if something looks sketchy, if, if it looks like they're making a bunch of false promises, then I'd also say that's a red flag as well. I'd stay away from it. Like, if they're making a bunch of, like, false promises and, you know, promises that can't be verified, right? And that's the other thing. That's what I'd watch out for. And I would, you know, stay stay away from. And also, on top of all of this, it's a lot to do with luck as well. Because a lot of people aren't going to like this answer, but it's the truth. Sometimes you get unlucky 
right sometimes you get unlucky sometimes it's a legit listing but you know what out the factory you know what i'm saying there was some glue on the hat and you know yours just came on with a bit of glue and it looks kind of funny it looks a bit weird right so if that happens to you there's a thing called returns and refunds for a reason you could refund it you could return it right this is an actual thing so make sure you guys are shopping with paypal or or a card that's refundable you could call your bank and you could get the transaction refunded you could get the transaction sorted out if they're trying to scam you you could go contact dhgate support but never let them scam you never let them get away with it but not only that Hey, if you get scammed, what's the worst that's going to happen? You know, you're just going to return it and you're just going to get another thing. It's not really a big deal. And I know you have to wait and they just kind of wasted your time. So that kind of sucks. That's why I say, you know, shop in bulk as well, guys. And don't just buy off one seller. Buy off multiple sellers. That's the other thing. Diversify as well, guys. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, you know. Don't, don't go to one seller and buy all your clothes from him. If you buy, you know, some shoes from one seller other shoes from another seller and other shoes from another seller even if one of them are a scam two of them aren't but if you you know put your eggs in one basket if you just shop with the same seller you buy three different pet shoes from the same seller guess what if he's a scammer you know you're gonna get scammed for all three of them so that's the other thing you're gonna use a wide variety of sellers and for every i would say 100 purchases you make 99 of them 98 of them will or maybe like 95 90 of them will be legit which that kind of seems sketchy obviously i'm not saying that's something like something insanely good because it's really not you know but at the end of the day it's also not that bad like think about it you buy 100 items only 10 of them are going to come out bad and you're the ones that come out bad you know you might be able to just resell them on that's the other thing you guys could do you could just resell it to someone that doesn't really understand or something you know what i'm saying actually i don't recommend doing that just you know return it and yeah i think overall those are things to watch out for and don't overpay for anything be smart check all the other deals and just in general be smart with the way you shop and you know don't overpay for anything and yeah guys i hope you've enjoyed and hope you guys have a good day and bye. Look at this. I made this, by the way. I made this burger right here, guys. What do you think? Do you think it looks good? Actually, it looks kind of terrible. I actually dropped a lettuce right here. So I'm going to throw this in the bin. Gosh. I hate standing. Okay. Get the lettuce. Throw it in the bin. There we go. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was actually DJing the music on this video, by the way. Which was kind of fun. But yeah, peace.